Hello, and welcome to a Wednesday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. Today we're going to do the uh, Wednesday, February 8th, 2023 crosswords, and go for that 1,076 day streak. So here is your spoiler alert for the Wednesday mini. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The mini is always free to play, and uh, let's do it. Aw, asks, whoa, shark there, uh, waves, ride, me, Kevin, we, phew, probably. There we go. Should have just gone for the crosses there. Sharks can go through over 20,000 sharp teeth. Kevin McAllister, played by Macaulay Culkin. What a throwback clue there. Long time no see. Yeah. Also, I'm going to start posting the, uh, the shorts the day after, so there's no spoilers. Anyway. Now for the main event, that's the Wednesday Daily Grid, which is by Chase Dietrich today. Here's your spoiler alert. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription, and I'm seeing individual shaded squares, I think. Um, no idea what that could be, but let's see it. Let's uh, see what Chase Dietrich ha has in store for us. Let's get into it. In like a lion, out like a lamb. Streaming hiccups. This is aloe. Water repellent question mark and make a mistake while sitting down. This is Moises Alu. Okay. Ali Wong? It's ACL probably. Member of the string quartet is a cello. Thor's mistress brother is Loki. Quaff and seriously though. Blank dash. Sandwich on a sesame seed bun. Burger? Oh, this is Mrs. Maisel, right? Gotcha, I see. Muppet that sings doing the Pigeon. Uh, this is Elsa. Lawn Trimmers, maybe just Edgers. And Metaverse, I guess this is Bert. Just Imbibe. I mean, really? Mad Dash, Big Mac, I see. Alternative to 2% with or without the shade letter. Uh, oat Milk? Goat Milk, okay. Oh, Lags here. Scuffle is a set too. Okay, that's butt dial there. This is moot. Tex-Mex dish. Fajita? This is Lisa Simpson. Airport near Olympia's SeaTac. You see my home airport. This is Dojo. Uh, this is Fajita, right? Rid ridiculous display. Take me as I am. Or with shot or mold jello. This is a C. A rill. Cal. Things that might be raised in court with or without the straight letters. Emotions. Okay. Gets out of Dodge, but capital. It may be half of Blackjack. Uh, something card? Not just bad, awful. Blank Island. Location that's not really an island. Pharmacy amounts are doses. Bajillions. On a streak. I guess this is nude. Mediterranean country. Okay, so this is not. I mean, really. Ace card and face card. Ace card is interesting. It's just fleas. Um, Greece here. UFOs. Rhode Island, I see. Doctor Who. Bill Walton. This is Yen. Okay. Vision that's subject to interpretation and dream. I mean, come on. Memo heading. In re. Sits around idols. Shout to Momo. This is Yves Saint Laurent. Nimble is spry. REI. This is ale. They might eliminate teams. Layoffs, I see. This is Esso. Chardonnay is a white wine. No, this is orgy. It's a grape. Oodles. Um, for the loom product. Not sure. Do for Billy Preston is an afro. This is private first class. It's orcs. Uh, underoos, I see. Draw dropping. Are not. And that's... Alpo? Worrisome. Gilgrissom could be. Trojan War Hero and Arlo Guthrie. Is that right? One of the Cohen brothers. Joel? Slightly. A Tad Rotini. Uh, Lean In. Nia Vardalos. Old Gag. Tiring? No. Taxing. Ajax there. Alright. So we've got 
Um, almost like a Schrodinger puzzle. But things that can be clued the same way with or without the first letter. So goat milk or oat milk are both alternative, uh, you know, alternative to actual milk is what I would say. But <laughs> it's not like one of these is skim milk, right? But alternative to, to, to cow milk. Half of a blackjack, an ace and a face card. You know, I don't know if you'd ever say ace card. I see what they're going for here, but I mean, ace card, you would just call an ace generally, right? Yeah, like this ace parentheses card I kind of buy. Yeah, it's not like completely illegitimate, but I don't think if you got blackjack, I think you'd describe it as an ace and a face card. Or an ace and a ten. Emotions and motions. This one has, I think, sort of the the sketchiest clue. They, they both might be raised in court. And then playoffs and layoffs. I think it's interesting. It's not really all that difficult, but um I think it'd be kinda nicer. Maybe this is asking too much. If the downs also obeyed that, but that's probably asking too much, I guess. Or if these would spell something out, that would also be nice. It just feels a bit thin. It's an interesting observation, but... GFEP? Yeah, I kind of wish there was something, something else, but... But okay, a little, just a little Wednesday diversion, a little midweek diversion. In like a lion, out like a lamb, that's uh... That's what I learned when I was a little kid. I learned that in Southern California, they don't learn this when I would ask my friends when I lived in San Diego because, uh, you know, Marsh doesn't come in like a lion in Southern California. And also, you know, of course, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, you wouldn't learn this. But as a Northeast born and bred kid, um, it rings very familiar to me. Lisa Simpson from The Simpsons. Enya, I don't know, Only Time. Maybe I'll do, do actually. Um, should I look up Only Time by Enya? Let's see. I'll listen to it in my headphones. Okay, alright. It's like the most famous Enya song. Okay, I didn't know the title, but I like this fajita with this J there. Bill Walton. Center. Now commentator. Yeah, that's right. He played for for John Wooden at UCLA. Hall of Famer, right? So, yeah, inducted in '93. But real. That's uh. I would only ever use that in crosswords at the moment, but. See this X here? Kind of a hard X. But I'm I'm not so good with my mythology. Ajax is also like cleaning product, right? Nice little clue and butt dial. It's been on the been in the crossword several times. Nice long bonus there. Yeah, my old home airport jaw dropping was nice. Nice J here too. I, I see the uh, the attempt at getting these uncommon letters in here. Under ruse. Yeah, I wasn't familiar with this, but I can just about imagine what they are. Brand of underwear featuring you know superhero ish themes. Didn't know Gil Grissom. So this section was a little hard, I thought, the, the Southwest, but yeah, got some names in this one. I mean, even Arlo, Joel Cohn, Nia Bartolos, Ajax. I could see this Southwest section being a little difficult. Let me know if you had any trouble down there when you were solving. That'll be quickish for a Wednesday, actually. 
maybe about right. I feel like yesterday was just slightly slow. Anyway, we should, uh, we should do the plus word. So here is your spoiler alert for the plus word. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here. Click on the link in the description below. The plus word is free to play. It's like a British mini crossword meets Wordle at the end. So if you like either one of those things, or both, you might enjoy doing the plus word. All right, let's do it. Rock and ties. Uh, right to anagram. Tiara anagram. Wow. Hmm. Not sure. This is just wrong, though. Maybe... Sorts. That looks pretty good. Retro. Error of judgment. A saint. Snags. And dress, probably, right? Draws. Atria. Okay. But we don't have very much to go on here. Um... Let's see, where could the W possibly go? Hmm. End in EW? Out, oh, twine? No. I kind of like that. Right, could anything else go here? Reran is correct. Twice, twice, okay. I have to look down on my keyboard to look at some letters. Uh, yeah, you, had, you get no correct letters today, but... <laughs> it was really hard to come up with another anagram of Raita and Tiara. Etria. Nothing too British today, but over a minute plus word. It's actually kind of slow. Anyway, last thing we do here today is take a look at the leaderboard for tomorrow's mini, where we've got stickers in 20 seconds and Orioana in 21. Always quite fast, stickers and Orioana. And on the old secret leaderboard, we've got nobody yet. Hope you're all enjoying your Tuesday evening. If your weeks are off to a nice start. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you tomorrow for the best day of the week for some Thursday puzzles. See you then.